We start with a 1 8 inch by 36 inch plain steel rod from Home Depot. We cut it to the desired length. And I just cut it to length using this Dremel-like tool. And then I start threading it using a 540 die. For the threading, you turn it once and then halfway back to get the filings out. Turn it once around, halfway back. And you just keep going until you get the to the point that you're you're done. I've gotten to the point that uh, I want to here as far as length for the threading, so then I can just take this off. I just kind of run it back up there just to get any of the fine pieces off there. And so that's the 540. That got the initial threads in, but we want the threads a little deeper. So we're going to put the 540 on next over the top of those existing threads. I'm just going to get it started here by hand. Again, just a couple turns, turn back. I might be able to do the whole thing that way, but I prefer to use this on top of it. It makes it a little easier to turn. So one all the way around, half back, all the way around, half back. We'll do that all the way up to the thread point I have there. And like the 540, this 440, when I'm done, I just take it up and down the shaft a couple times to make sure those new threads are clean. And so what you end up with is a... Uh, it's not very focused here. see that but you end up with some nice threads on the end here. Once you have the threads you can put on your servo connectors and you're good to go.